Hello guys, so we hope you've watched our last video where we made a trip into the only bell foundry in Portugal. This is part two of our visit at the bell foundry in Braga and now we're gonna explore the other side of this factory, the place where they managed to create tower clocks. Passamos de, de, de fundição para eletromecânico, para eletrónico. Hoje temos departamento eletrónico, desenvolvemos em parceria com outras entidades, deve ser dado, acústica, fundição, salharia, carpintaria, em tudo, para completar o negócio. Luckily, we've been able to watch how an analog tower clock works and get some sounds out of it. Cada vez que os sinos tocam, o peso desce. Claro. Portanto, isto é como é que funciona mecanicamente um relógio. A atuação é simples. Estas rodas atuam, puxam o mecanismo que vai ao martelo, puxam este cabo, largam o martelo. Largam o martelo. E ele vai. Portanto, isto tem andaminhos, tem dispositivos, tem eixos. Hoje em dia os sistemas são diferentes. Pode ver aqui, é a central informática que tem as músicas gravadas. Isto é a mesma coisa que está ali, só que em vez de ser a mecânica a puxar um martelo que vai cair, isto atua um martelo elétrico que vai dar uma pancada no cima. We hope you have enjoyed accompanying us on this visit through this incredibly bell foundry. Now, let's create a frames patch with these recorded sounds. Okay guys, so after that nice video about the, the factory, we have recorded that really nice mechanical clock that controls the carillon, and we edited and got this sample for us to use on frames. Okay, this is the sound. So let's now open a new frames on a default patch. Bring back default patch here. Okay. And we're going to do like the other sound. We're going to make the fourth and second layer our granulators and the third and the first our uh, oscillators. And we're going to do them from first, fourth, then second, then third, then first. So follow me. First thing we're going to do is load up the sample here on the fourth layer and we're going to load that nice um, clock sample which is right here and we're going to copy it already to the second layer paste it here so we already have it let me turn off just so we work on the fourth and the first thing I'm going to do here it's raised the window to 965 so we have the less amount of slope on the grains of amplitude slope and I'm gonna cut, draw, uh, drop the cutoff to 873 so I take a little bit of the high frequencies of the sound 873 next I'm going to the random color because I don't want the randomness to have um, numbers that go too high and I'm gonna put it at 233 three. okay perfect and now let's do an offset change the position here to 020 as you can see and now some randomness on this to give it a little bit of spice and 113 one, on offset randomness okay size of 100 which should be there default value and now size randomness of 67 okay oops not this one this one now let's go to the density and raise it to 370 and the density uh, randomness to 107 Okay, 
Now, stereo spread. Let's give it a little bit of stereo spread with four, five, three. Starting to get a little bit of stereo here on the grains. And finally, reverb of one, seven, three. Let's go now to the global section, put master and pre-gain at maximum and the high pass filter, let's give it a good old 150 so we don't have too much buildup on the sub frequencies of the reverb. And let's go to the modifiers and prepare the LFOs so we can use them. On the first LFO, we have a sine wave with a rate of 0, 37, okay, and offset of maximum. We want all of them to have an offset of maximum so I can do it straight away. Now, in the second oscillator, I want a filtered sample and hold with a rate of 113. The third sample and hold again, and 233. And the fourth sample and hold, and a rate of 257. Okay. Oops, 257, should be okay. So we've got our LFOs. Now we go to the matrix on the fourth layer and I want the offset to be modulated by the first LFO by 947. So you'll now see what happens. Nine four eight, sorry. Okay. And like this, we have our first layer ready. Let's go now to the second. I'm gonna turn this one off so we can hear, listen just to the second one. First thing, window at 965, like before. Uh, we want level at the same time, but let's drop two octaves now. So it's lower. Random color again, 233. Okay. Offset 20, offset randomness 133, size of 100 should be there, but the randomness of the size 067, now density 370 like before, Random density randomness 107, Stereo spread of 453. And a reverb of 173. Okay, now for the matrix again. But now we're going to use LFO2 on the offset and to a 948. Okay, so now if I turn this on. This is just the two granulators working. Now let's go to the oscillator. So I'm gonna start with the third oscillate oscillator and turn on the oscillator, change it to a saw. And I'll turn the gain to maximum and drop the level to 93. Okay, now drop the cutoff to 183. Okay, like this. Drop an octave. Raise three, the semitones on the course. And finally a reverb of 267. Now let's go to the matrix and use LFO4 to modulate the cutoff to 608. So as you can see, the LFO is following this, the cutoff is following this LFO. Now let's go to the first one. And again, sawtooth, gain at maximum and drop the level to zero and then raise it to 80.
drop the cutoff to 177. Okay. And now two octaves down. And reverb of 333. Three, three. Okay. Now let's go to the matrix again. And on LFO3, let's raise it to 688. So now if I put only the oscillators working, both of them, this is what we hear. As you can see, we have an interval between both oscillators. But first, before I play everything else, we have to go to the first envelope generator and we're going to change the first envelope generator on layer 1 and layer 3. And what we're going to do is just raise the attack to 150 and the curve to 510. A little bit more linear than it was. And now, finally, sustain at maximum. We do this for the first and the third layer. So again, 150 here. Well, the reason we're doing this is just so that the oscillators don't come in straight away. We want it to come slower so they don't define the attack of the sound. Sustain at maximum. As you can see, now they don't have attack. So all that's left now is to turn the other layers on and listen to the sound. Okay guys, so we finally finished this two series video on visiting the factory of bells. Basically, it's not only a factory, they're basically a foundry that makes bells, they sell organs, they build clocks to play the carillons of bells. So it was a great visit, it was enlightening for me in many aspects and I hope that it was fun for us because we got two patches out of these videos and they were definitely fun to make. So if you enjoy this series, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. That means a lot to us and means that we're definitely moving in the right direction. For now, I will say goodbye and tell you that we will have new content coming up next week, so please check us out. Goodbye, guys.